The pug is one of the planet's deadliest creatures. Don't let its small, pathetic appearance fool you. This ungodly atrocity could absolutely shaft your entire day. So join me, legendary survivalist Jack Savage, as I'm going to be showing you the necessary tactics, medieval weaponry, and skills to survive a pug attack. You're walking alone through the wilderness when suddenly you hear some heavy breathing coming from some nearby brush. It's a goddamn pug. The creature will make a mad dash sprinting towards you, leaving you with only seconds to prepare for the oncoming bloodshed. What do you do? Well, the key to preventing a pug attack is to find weaknesses in its very biology. The pug's barely functioning respiratory system, the centuries of inbreeding within its DNA, and its smushed flat face are all incredibly powerful advantages it will possess in this fight. But despite these harrowing odds, there is one undeniable weakness this vermin possesses. It's illiteracy. It's a well-known fact that all pugs cannot read and are very self-conscious about this embarrassing flaw. The key to preventing a pug attack is to make use of this insecurity and destroy their ego. Watch and learn. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Before you attack me, before you attack me, can, can you read this? It's a message from my mother. Oh, oh my God, I forgot. Oh, that's so embarrassing, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, uh, can you at least tell me the time? Oh my god, you can't read that either. You're enumerate, not only illiterate, oh my god. Uh, I would just, I would just give up if I were you. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, that was, that was bad. And just like that, I've shattered this pathetic rat's ego and showed him why we're the dominant species. But in the scenario where you don't have your phone on you, you're essentially screwed. So you're gonna have to prepare for a full-on assault from one of nature's fiercest predators. Luckily, any sensible hiker will be carrying some standard self-defense weaponry on them. So let's break down which of these basic tools are the most effective at folding this brachycephalic beast. Now a very common weapon that should be in every pug survivalist inventory is the humble butane blowtorch. Now this tool may seem nice and useful, however, its range is so short, so if a pug is sprinting towards you, you're not going to be able to hit it before it ripped your arm off. So truly, this is a very unpractical weapon. Now for a weapon that is extremely useful but should not be handled by amateurs is of course a DVD copy of The Land Before Time Journey Through the Mists. Now I of course prefer The Land Before Time series because their titles are so damn long and the amount of text will confuse the pug, shaming it with its illiteracy, allowing you to have enough time to smack it over the head with this DVD. As you can see, this DVD comes jam-packed with a load of special features, adding to its weight, and of course these sharp corners are great for gouging the eyes out of an attacking pug. Now my absolute favorite weapon to fend off attacks from pugs is of course the Cursed Blade of Zephopheles. Now you can find this at any Walmart as long as you have a degree in quantum physics. What makes this weapon so special is that anything it hits is erased from ever existing. Let's test it out. To show off the awesome power of the Cursed Blade of Zephopheles, I'm gonna strike my Ferrari, specifically a La Ferrari with gold plated exterior. And on the interior, we've got some leather imported from Brazil. Very expensive, more expensive than anything you guys own, I'm sure. And I'm going to make it disappear from ever existing. And just like that, it's gone. Like it was never there in the first place. Yeah. But say you're an absolute inept fool that doesn't have any of these basic pug survival items. You're gonna have to fight off this creature in ritualized hand-to-hand -hand combat. The pug's stocky, muscular body will easily physically dominate you, ravaging through your flesh and internal organs at remarkable speed. But despite the excruciating agony you'll be in, you have to remain calm and deal the final blow. Oh god, in a situation like this, there's only one thing I can do to survive. It's your last chance against a creature this horrific. You have to blow in its little face. Alright, sweet, we're good. Yeah, that's how you survive a pug attack from the pro Jack Savage himself. We're going to be back with other survival videos after this. Stay jacked, stay savage, stay surviving. I'll see you next time.